Not gonna lie, I've done this intro now, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 times. I just keep screwing it up. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've lost the plot. Anyway, this game is called Riders Republic. The first time we're seeing proper gameplay, and I'm very excited. This is PS5 gameplay, just so you guys are aware. The game releases on the 28th of August, 2021. I got a beta code from Ubisoft with direct permission to upload the gameplay. So here it is in all its glory. This is my first initial jumping into the world on a bike. There's so many disciplines, so many, so many different bikes, skis, uh, jetpacks, wingsuits, paragliders, power shoots. There's just so much to do in this game. And one thing that impressed me so much was the open world. It felt humongous. It was massive. I'm, I'm pretty sure it feels like the biggest map ever in gaming. It feels it feels that big. Um, anyway, here's some customization. It's it's fairly basic. I won't lie. Um, basic eye colors, a couple of faces, skin color, stuff like that. Can make your character completely outrageous. Green, purple beard, purple hair. You can do whatever you want, whatever you want. Um, so there's a few options there. They may add more, obviously, for the full game. This is still beta gameplay. I want to emphasize that, of course. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed my experience with this game. And we're just going to jump in and show you guys my first ever run. My first time on a bike. I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but the verticality. There's always, in this game, a drop. Um, a hill in front of you, a mountain in front of you. This is just a... You'd love to go to this place, basically. Obviously, it's fictional, um, in a sense. It's been completely made from scratch for the game. And it is just an extreme sport ha haven. A heaven, as such. And here is Riders Republic. I and mean, look at that. It's the big, fat mountain. <laughs> it's so cool. Engage! Just jump off a cliff! <laughs> yep, it's an Ubisoft original. I don't know why they do that now. They do that with every game. You're watching Rich TV, bringing you the biggest and best action from all over the Republic. All right. Time to cast our eyes on the ground and see what's shaking. Take that downhill bike and stick it on this trail. Can I win my first event? This is a mass race. Well, I'd say it's more of a sample of a mass race. This is, uh, as far as I know, AI behind me right now. Whoa, trying to pull up a trick. Not a wise idea. So all I'm doing here really is pressing the right trigger. You got boost. Stamina available with L1 and then L2 to drift or break. That's that is pretty simple controls. There is tricks available as well, but this is all about getting first place. That, that's that's all you want to do. That's all you want to do is win the event. One thing I would criticize about the game, there is secondary objectives. And you get a star, which is basically the, the sort of system they use to unlock activities that's quite important to get stars as many stars as possible you get a star for just doing the event which i'm not a big fan of anyway and there's no real emphasis on on winning the event it doesn't really matter too much uh, there is secondary objectives to maybe um grind a rail or do a certain trick but yeah i want a, a star for winning so i want <laughs> uh, that's just me being a bit picky. Yes, there is rockets. Rocket wings in this game. It is crazy. Hit those checkpoints, but don't fly too close to the sun. Got it. Yeah, these checkpoints, they look quite big, but the amount of times you can hit the very edge of these checkpoints. And they are Oh, they're so annoying. Especially in a mass race. That was completely my fault. Um, just slightly skimmed the ground there. You can see this like almost like a bamboo sticks or whatever it is. And if you hit that, bam. Race over pretty much. 
You can rewind, but you lose so much time. You can hit the trees as well. And you may think, oh, this is like pro most of the map. No, it's, it's so big. Such a big map. It's so impressive. Ooh. Ooh, naughty. Naughty, naughty. And it is worth reminding you, if you do buy this game on PS4 or the standard Xbox One, I believe the mass races are not 64 players. Oh, they're 32 players. So it cuts it in half. So it's like a next gen feature. And the mass races, I would say, probably my favorite part of the game. It is absolute mayhem in a good way. In a good way. It can get a little bit overwhelming at times when you're all in exactly the same outfits. There's loads of customization in this game as well in terms of clothes and stuff like that. It can get quite confusing, but the mass races are, are so good. 64 players all skiing down a slope. Mm. Perfection. <laughs> There's me. <laughs> oh, flop. Love this hat. Time for some tricks, baby. Woo! Oh yeah, smooth as you like. You got snowboarding, of course, as well. Not just two skis. You can switch stance. So you can sort of switch around. You can end up going backwards by accident. All those mountains in the distance, you can go there. Yeah, boggles of the mines. <laughs> It feels like, um, I'm trying to think of what this game reminds me of. I guess it's like a steep, um, combined with trials. It's just got all these sports in one. I guess they, they couldn't really do, I don't know, like a, a bike game or a ski game. They want to combine it. And that's why they think, obviously, people might be interested, where there's so many different disciplines. You may have a favorite, maybe one you want to focus on. That's completely up to you. There's a lot of choice in this game, that's for sure. This is like the sort of hub area. Hey man, I've been hearing a lot about you. Displaying lots and lots of potential. Whew, I'm Suki, by the way. Whether it's on wheels or on a board, I try to do it all. I spent years competing at the highest level. What I discovered is that there's so much more to the Republic than meets the eye. It's also about adventure, exploration, and connecting with the outdoors on a whole new level. Ah, anyway, this isn't about me, it's about you. So I really like to introduce you to someone. His name is Brett and he's triple OG. Bike, ski, wingsuit, legendary status in all three. Emulated by most, duplicated by none. I reckon you and Brett can really help each other out. Come on, follow me. This place is called the Rider's Ridge. It's the heart and soul of the Republic. I like to call it the social epicenter. It's vibing, right? You should keep an eye out for the trick battles and showdown sessions. Very cool arenas to team up with friends, other riders, and compete against each other. And you can get rad in the Quadrodome in your own time. Live contest to just pick up and play. <laughs> And the shop here is a great place to help you keep it fresh. Because looking good, it's feeling good. Hmm? Coming! Oh. <laughs> yep, the Shack Daddy Bandits. Ah. Suki! <laughs> <laughs> we go way back. Yeah, there are a bunch of buck nutty riders who host regular challenges. You should twangle in their madness at some point because their events are off the hook and they offer very tidy rewards. Okay, well, you should take some time to chill. Take a look around the ridge and then meet me back here with your game face on and I'll introduce you to Brett. Cool? <laughs> Thank you, Suki, for the, uh, for the tour. Appreciate it. Hey, me again. Hello. I forgot to mention, take a mosey behind the big screens. The view is amazing, and I got you a little welcome gift. When you're done, meet me near the food truck, and I'll introduce you to Brad. Oh yeah, there's the cool. release day again. <laughs> in case you guys are curious, there it is right in front of you. October 28th. 
That's when this baby's coming. I'm pretty sure this is the start of the game. So when you guys get the game for yourself, this will be what happens to you as well. My very first bike. Oh, I love it. It's mine. I'm now free to go wherever I like. There's no part of the open world which I can't go to. I can cycle there right away if oh, I want nice. to. nice. You're back. Okay, real talk. Brett, the guy I was telling you about, is a true ledge. He's the one that inspired all the cool cats to come out here in the first place. He's always looking for riders who have the potential to become champions. Oh, and yeah, he doesn't ride much these days, so he feeds our stomachs instead. It's his way of looking out for us and staying connected. Can't ride well if you haven't dined well, right? Come on, stay breezy and let me do all the talking. Hey, Brett, what's up? Hey there, champ. Looks like you've been hitting the slopes. Well, you're the one always saying, life is short, gotta ride hard. Right on, I do say that. Hey, hungry? I got a Super Trooper Shroom Burger, extra cheese with your name all over it. Thanks, but I ain't down to dine. Actually, whoa, I need whoa, whoa. to... You're not hungry? What's wrong? Just listen, I need to introduce you to fellow Shrek. Devil Double Cheese with fries! Oh, here you go. Brett. <laughs> yeah, what? I'm super hyped about this one. He's been banging down slopes like a ferret. We're talking big, big maneuvers. <laughs> Look. No need to put up a billboard. I already know. Well, yeah, sure, of course you do. But I'm telling you, Brett, this is the real deal, okay? This could be your next protege for Riders Ridge Invitational. Protege, eh? Big words. Okay, Sparky. Sookie's usually not wrong about these things. And I can see in your lunettes that you're bursting with some of that special sauce. But competing at the Invitational? <laughs> It's a transformative experience, man. Transformative? Trust me. I know. I was there 10 years ago. Uh, 12. Sucky! <laughs> so, before I decide to even consider taking this lasting journey with you, let me break it down for you. There are six disciplines to master. Five. Each consists of famed competitions and an illustrious final mega event to overcome. The Riders Ridge Invitational. Yeah, baby. Now, if you can get your smarticles around that, then, <laughs> then, yeah, okay, I'm willing to give you a shot. Ah, yes, finally. Dude, if you ran like your mouth, you'd be okay. in better shape. Sookie, whoa, 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 whoa. Dial it back just a bit, fast is fine. But accuracy is everything. You should try it sometime, Sookie. You might like it. Come on, kid. So, there's plenty to sizzle your bacon. Mammoth, Tatum, Yosemite, Zion, Sequoia, Bryce, and my personal favorite, Canyonland. All unique in their own little way. Now, a powerful entrance is just as important as a strong finish, so I'm gonna let you take the whirly bird. That's dope! I know. Wait, he's never offered me that. Yeah, don't sweat it. It's mine. Kind of. I won it in a card game! <laughs> I don't have papers or anything, but it's mine! Whoa, whoa! Okie dokie, now fist pump me like a champion! No? Just a little bump. Or a high five. High five. Uh, it's, you want to just... Okay, fine. Whatever. Suit yourself. We can try again later, if you want. This is the star stash. Everything you do will count. Slaying the career paths, embracing exploration, crushing live events, and ripping it up with your pals. I mean, everything. It's all about making constant progress one step at a time. The more you do, the more stars you get towards unleashing way more radness. So, to reach those dizzy heights, we're starting you off on the bike race career. So, time to pedal to the metal, baby. Let's go, rider. Let's go. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for you. Let me, let me go out there and ride. And show me a cutscene. I'm guessing there would be um, more music, by the way. Had to turn it off, you know, because of YouTube reasons and stuff like that. I do find, by the way, the, 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 the sort of first person view to be freaking terrifying it's it's yeah it's a bit much yeah and these bikes in the snow you instantly feel it it's like, it's like slow right, right down which obviously makes sense bike race career with your first event take that bike 
Ride like lightning. Oh yeah. Just don't crash like thunder. We saw that the first star we got. And we get a star for every event we do. Which is okay, but you don't get anything for winning. I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense. I hope I hope I hope that's changed. I think that'd be really cool to maybe have one star for entering and another star for winning. I mean, why not? Give me a reason to want to win. I'm I'm competitive like that. And yeah, it does seem like every event you, you can do, you can do it in versus mode as well. So if you want to have other players in your game. These all, I guess, I think they're all like driver tiles in a way. So that is someone's actual ID, but it's all in my game, if that makes sense. They're not actual other players, if that makes sense. Yeah, anyway. My first proper race. Yeah, let's do it. I want to win so bad. The speeds you get, oh, you do on this bike are insane. Oh yeah. Must admit the punishment if you miss a checkpoint and you also crash. Oh, it can sting. It can sting quite a bit. I'd almost argue a bit too much. Yeah. You, you almost don't want to do tricks just because in case you do fall. It's tragic. Woo! That is high. Oh, I guess I hurt my testicles. I don't know what happened there. Oh my god. Got a little bit lucky there. Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit lucky. This is a this is my favorite part of the game though. It's just going down a hill incredibly quickly on a bike. It's so much fun. I really like it. There we go. Congrats. <laughs> New bike you already. So money, baby. Yeah. As you can see, participating in events earns you experience points, which helps you unlock more shindiggery. Yeah. That's another word for cool stuff. The more you nail, the more you unveil. See you later. Every game like this has a has a character like Brett. They just do. Shindigs, all that sort of stuff. Oh, there he is. Just stretching out the old bones. So, by slaying that first event, you've been awarded a powerful piece of gear and qualified for your next event in the bike race series. Uh, I'm very excited for you. I mean, look at my face. I'm totally stoked. Oh, and your first big event is just around the corner. So mix it up and lay it down because that's going to be extreme. Peace. Extreme. The start area for your next challenge is just over there. Head over to begin. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. Might have got a little bit carried away there. What I also love about this game is when you go into that open world, I think people can still see you when you're racing, actually. Just, there's so much going on. If you look at the map, there's loads and loads of people. Obviously, this is a beta, so there's probably one more people on the game, maybe, but it was so busy, and there's cosplay as well on this game. It's really, it's really cool. It feels alive. It feels, it does feel like a, an extreme sport haven for loads of players. When you get um, a mass race, for example, you'll you have to race to like, the, the same destination and just numbers, people everywhere on PlayStation, on PC, on Xbox. It was great. It was great. Obviously the same. I don't... I'm guessing the PS4 owners have to be separated because obviously the mass races are, are different sizes. That's true. Um, yeah, the world just feels so alive. It's a really cool feeling. Loads of little dots on the, on the map. Oh, that person's there. That person's there. It's madness. Oh, double backflip, baby. Oh, don't quite know what happened there. <laughs> I'll give it another go. There was a few times I was sort of pressing the wrong button. It does feel weird to boost with L1 and R2 or whatever. Yeah, it was a bit confusing at times. I think it's R1 to do like a flashback. And he can do flashbacks in the mass races, but obviously you just lose so much time and so many places. It's, it's horrible, actually. 
I get easily All triggered. Right. You've received Ooh. a spanking new road bike. This is a super versatile piece of gear built for racing on those horizontal terrains. I love the idea of getting a bike like that in the real world. I just get so worried a car would just hit me. I used to go, I used to have like a mountain bike. I go on it all the time. I go for miles and miles. That was probably Red Bull me at my fittest. First biggie, put your new bike to use at this next all those dots. Look, see, that's, that's, that's individual playing it right now. Remember, all those little dots, the all those little people. Tool to transit with ease. So cool. The Loam is amazing right now. Perfect tackiness and optimum conditions. So go get them. Yeah, I used to go a lot on pavements, but I think they sort of made it the law, so I have to go. If I want to ride a bike, I have to be in the road, which, yeah, I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> I don't like the idea of it. So obviously this bike is super quick on a, on a paved road, but going off road, it's, it's quite rigid. <laughs> There's no suspension, and it does feel different. You do notice the difference. Definitely. Feels like your ass is being attacked. <laughs> you know what I mean. That did not come across correctly, but you know, yeah, yeah. By the way, I've got plenty of footage. If you guys want me to do a part two, part three, let me know. Um, there should be two videos up about the map size and also a mass race, which yeah, didn't go quite to plan. There's a few, a few points in that race where I'm doing really well, and then. I get taken out, or hit a checkpoint, or miss a checkpoint. So annoying. Get out my way! Boost! The speed! It's one of those games where I want to select a bike or a ski, find the best hill to go down, and just see what the max speed is. It's one of those sort of games, 100%. This is quite fun actually. Get on like a proper paved road and just going downhill. Woo! Oh yeah, baby. That drift. <laughs> Very realistic. Oh baby, oh God. That, that, I do not feel good about that. I do not feel okay. So use the, um, the sort of, the sort of X circle and square and triangle to do tricks. You can also do grabs with the R2 button as well. Um, and yeah, that's the sort of main, it depends on how you want to, I think there's two systems. There's a trickster and, what's the other one? Trickster and, Button press up, so something like that. I forgot the name of it. There is different ways to do tricks in the game, that's for sure. And that is coming up in the video. Congrats! Rock on, dude! We're unlocking so much gear right now. It's getting a little bit insane. Lovely. I'm sure there's an ultimate bike, and there's a few joke bikes as well. Holy shit, Ooh, Whistle. What? Congratulations. You've qualified for Red Bull Holy Bike. This is Ooh. explosive stuff, so don't get your knickers in a knot, okay? And remember, if you have to puke, then just puke. But keep going because there's a ton of stars to bank here. What did he say? Don't get your knickers in a what? I won't ask any questions. Here's the first person cam, and it is terrifying. It suddenly feels so much quicker. Ugh. Terrible. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, it's kind of scary. The ultimate Red Bull event. I wonder how much Red Bull pays for stuff like this. I always find that quite interesting. Yeah, there's a few sort of jokey bikes that have like jetpacks on the back and they look a bit run down and rusty and Take there's a few like questions. jokey things like that. Finish with answers. Red Bull Holy Bike. Life affirming. Okay. Also, rockets on on skis. That was quite fun, actually. The speed you can do on these skis was, was crazy. That was in a a mass race. I did. 
Never got lucky on those mass races. I always wanted to win one, but never did it. a chance for riders to demonstrate their skills, then what is? Absolutely. It's going to be a fantastic spectacle. Ooh. Oh, see, that's where the checkpoints get really annoying. So there I got... I was completely okay. And then one of the ALAs just knocks me. I miss a checkpoint. I have to go all the way back. And I lose so much time. It's, it does get quite frustrating. I feel like there has to be maybe a, a better way of doing it. Maybe just teleport me back to the, the checkpoint area. Like in front of it. Automatically or something like that. That was that was frustrating. That's that's a really cool example, a really good example of how frustrating checkpoints can be in this game, and the uh, the flashback system. Yeah, very frustrating. But I've been winning fairly easily uh, the last couple of races. Now time for an epic comeback. Oh yes, oh yes indeed. Yeah, I've, I've played the game for three to four hours. I think quite a long time. I really sort of delved deep into it. And there's loads of disciplines coming up. Loads of events I covered, so look out for that. If you guys want me to do more. <laughs> Heart in my mouth. We're now on the podium. <laughs> We're at halfway now. I bet there's going to be some insane event. Maybe going around the whole map, for example. I bet there is. There's going to be. And I have no idea how long that would take. I don't even know how long it would take to go from one point on the map to the other on a bike. Oh, it takes ages. It takes so long. Whoa. First place. Congrats. You. You can already see the races are starting to get a little bit tougher. There's more obstacles in the way. It's a bit more tighter as well. <gasps> I'm nervous just watching this. So we crashed at the very start. I'm pretty sure we was in last place. And the comeback is complete. Thank you, Red Bull. Not had a Red Bull in ages. Wow. Woo. That was some filthy... Filthy riding Filthy. at the Red Bull Holy Bike. Remember, slaying big events like that will earn you stars and help get you to the Invitational. All right, you've unlocked some cool new events. You can see what toots your horn later because first, we've got something lined up for you. Ooh, you're gonna love it. Where are we going now? What's going on? Might be time to learn some tricks on the snow. Oh, yeah. What up, Ryder? So, you want to learn how to pull off some gnarly tricks in the Republic? Then it's a matter of mastering three important steps. Number one, the preparation. This is key to a perfectly executed trick. Two, the trick itself. Front flips, back flips, nose grabs, tail grabs. If you can name it, you can do it. And three, the landing, of course. To lay it down perfectly, it's all about aligning your body with the slope. All right, let's jump in, let's do this. Let's do some tricks. Fairly um, simple tricks at first. Also, we do, this is a tutorial, really. There is an auto landing mode, so you don't really crash. Um, I eventually turn it off. I think it might be on at the moment, I'm not sure. There's some nice basic spins. All you gotta do is press square, circle, hold on to circle if you wanna keep spinning. X triangle to flip. So there's, obviously there's different combinations that you can then start to use the triggers to grab as well. So there's quite a few variations. It's a pretty sweet snowball game as well. I won't lie. Woo! Double backflip. You see those points. But we need a front flip this time. 
not a backflip. Oh, idiot. <laughs> What's he doing? There we go. Eventually did it. And by the way, you can just walk around as well. You could walk the whole map if you want to. Yeah, I'm on skis. And there may be uh, a snowmobile. Yes, there might be a snowmobile. Woo! You're doing bad landings. It's a bit of like a jokey bike in front of you. They can sit just to the left. Again, these are all other players playing right now. Power shooting in. There's always someone crashing on a bike, on a ski. I really like that about this game. It feels like a living, breathing environment. So you can go for skis or a snowboard if you want to. It's completely up to you. And let's jump in. Let's do some tricks. Or some is it tricks? Is it about tricks or is it about getting down the hill? No, it's about tricks. Okay, let's do it then. Do some tricks. Pretty sure I don't win this, but there we go. Oh! Good start. Oh, that I don't know how he landed that honestly. That was um pretty impressive. Oh, we're backwards. Switch that stance. Still not completely sure how I feel about this game. Um, I feel like I, I probably need it to come out and really put some hours in before I can really make a decision. But I think the the base is there. I think it could be quite an interesting game. It's not for everyone. But if you do like these sort of open world trials, steep sort of games, this might be right up your alley. If you guys don't like those sort of games, then maybe not. <laughs> There's also loads of things to go and explore, collectibles, hidden um, equipment you can find, like bikes and stuff like that. If you're getting really bad landings, it's bothering me. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he would have broken his ski, surely. Start off very well, but... Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. That was fancy. Only seven. I did struggle with the trick, so I won't lie. Oh, well. Still got a star. Doesn't really matter. Oh, nice. This is a very snazzy piece Ooh, of gear. It's certainly better than the one you had before. I mean, it's the same stats, right? Pretty much. I'm guessing their skis more meant for speed and they're more better skis for, for tricks as well. There we go, explore. Oh, well, there's so many regions. Obviously, you get loads of fast travel points as well. We're in the snowy mountains. Behemoth mountain. You've been gifted a Snowmobile from Brett. I did hint. It's sick because now you'll be able to travel uphill him. across snowy environments way quicker. You can equip it from the sports wheel anytime you want. Obviously, going up a hill, if it's snowy, is not ideal. It's not the quickest way to go around. So the snowmobile is going to help you out big time. And yes, it can go off the snow, but the speed dramatically drops. Um, it's, still, it's okay. It just you, you notice it instantly. Even like a tiny bit of snow. The snowmobile would just speed up. Triple speed. <laughs> yes, I have a snowmobile. I have a snowmobile. Look at it. A rapid. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. What a, a superb way to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sounds a little bit different. Um, I didn't. I couldn't do like live commentary. I've done like a more of a post commentary thingy. Um, it's not something I'm used to doing that often. I hope the video is still good. If you guys want me to show you more gameplay, let me know as well. And um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you again to Ubisoft for letting me capture and play the game. And uh, bye bye.